Good morning, everyone, and welcome again to our first annual virtual conference. I am Dr. Danielle McKamey, the founder, president, and CEO of DMPs of Color. I'm extremely excited to join you here at our first virtual conference, and I'm overjoyed that we've garnered the support from so many different sponsors and have over 200 people at our first conference. This is truly exciting and I'm extremely humbled by the support, the encouragement and the belief of our mission, our vision and our goals as an organization. I wanted to take this time just to go over the year, um, our year successes that we've had since we've been operational since May 2020 and to share some of some of the things that are to come. So here we go. I want to recognize and appreciate our board of directors, Dr. Ethel McQueen Gibson, who serves as our vice president, Dr. LaDonna Brown, our treasurer, Dr. Tony Murray, our secretary, Dr. Daisy Medina Crepin, Dr. Jenna Benunis, and Dr. Bimbola Akintade. I also want to um, highlight our advisory committee and also offer them some thanks. Dr. Dwayne Aline, who also serves as our chair of our social media marketing committee. Dr. Tamara Brodnax, Dr. David Campbell O'Dell, Dr. Sandra Davis, Dr. Stephen Ferreira, Dr. Julian Gallegos, Ms. Rhonda Gittens, Dr. Derek Glimpf, Dr. Karen Keston, Dr. Orlin Marquez, Ms. Nicole Parmore, Dr. Imelda Reyes, and Dr. Carol Washington. So we started our year uh, back in May 2020 with the appointment of our board of directors. And from May, we hosted our first virtual graduation with Dr. Sandra Davis as our keynote speaker back in June 2020. And from there, we uh, expanded on hosting a variety of events and we kicked off our mentoring moments lecture series with the first talk of you can call me doctor and it was around navigating the doctor politics in real life where we had a lively engaging discussion around the use of the the title doctor and how we navigate our respective areas being doctorally prepared we also collaborated with Launch Augusta, which is a nonprofit based in Georgia with some of their mentoring opportunities for their pathway program of exposing uh, elementary, middle and high school students to healthcare professions. Of course, uh, we celebrated with a happy hour. We also collaborated in supporting uh, more statistics Statistics Consulting's first virtual conference and being a sponsor. And we launched our research committee. And then we hosted another virtual commencement for uh, the December graduates. And uh, there's a snapshot of the attendees of that, first, of that commencement. And we continue to strengthen our partnership with Launch Augusta, participated in Giving Tuesday, and we launched um, more programming around our mentoring moments with our motivational Mondays. And then we uh, continue to sponsor other organizations, uh, creating space to highlight our members with our doc shout outs. And we hosted a Nurses Week um, celebration with a giveaway in honor of um, Mary Eliza Mahoney and Florence Nightingale. And we had our 1500 follower on Instagram that we celebrated. This past spring on Juneteenth, we hosted another virtual commencement, which we had nearly 70 graduates that we uh, celebrated. And here's just kind of a small collage of all the wonderful uh, budding scholars, uh, docs that we have uh, in our community. We also um, garnered some collaborations with AACN and we're in partnership doing a webinar series around uh, graduate student life. We also launched our Pathway to Publication Learning series, which is a series of education around the publication process. And today we join you at, with our first annual virtual conference. We also were featured in a variety of uh, news. Um, we put a statement out um, during the height of um, the George Floyd murder and 
got highlighted in Clinical Advisor. We were also recognized by NP Student Magazine as uh, the one to watch for their best of 2020. And just a variety of highlights of our advisory board and board of directors in uh, various publications. And then our newest highlight in Minority Nurse, which was an amazing spotlight on uh, DMPs of color. And we launched our committees. This was phase one of our membership transition plan. So we ended up launching our programming committee, which is led by Ethel McQueen Gibson and Lolita Mahaldo, our research committee, which is led by Bim Akintade and Yvette Lowry, our governance um, by myself and Jenna Benunis, finance, LaDonna and Shanita Avinger, our DEI anti-racism and nursing, which is led by myself and Vivian Pierce McDaniel, and social media marketing led by Dr. Um, Dwayne Aline and myself, and of course our advisory committee. Our reach continues to grow. This map is already outdated in terms of where docs are located that um, are that participate in our community. The blue just shows that there's um, a higher number cluster of DMPs of color in those respective states. So just going over high level, some of the, the impact that we've made um, from our, since our first virtual commencement, uh, spring 2020, we've increased attendance uh, and attendees and participants exponentially. We actually garnered some support for our spring uh, commencement. We've tremendously increased our social media uh, following on all platforms. And we also increased our programming toward the, the last half of this year. Like I mentioned, we launched our Pathway to Publication Learning series and continue to develop our Mentoring Moment series. Uh, and the virtual commencements have been a huge hit, so we'll continue that. And then our virtual conference, we have over 200 regist registrants, which is beyond my thoughts. I initially was like, let's just get 60 and then we'll be okay. <laughs> so I am so grateful uh, for the enthusiasm of wanting to participate. We've collaborated with Maker Health, AACN, NP Student Magazine. Um, we've become a colleague organization with AACN and um, an NPO partner organization with AANP. We've also uh, were selected by Georgetown University Social Impact Program for Enobo Consulting Services. Like I mentioned before, the, uh, the Minority Nurse Magazine highlight. Um, amongst our board of directors and uh, advisory committee, we have folks that were inducted as um, fellows, uh, Dr. Glimpf, Dr. Gallegos, and Dr. Akintade, congrats to them. And our virtual conference, we managed to secure a variety of sponsors. Um, want to make a special recognition for our platinum sponsors, Chamberlain University, University of Maryland, and the National Black Nurses Association. Thank you so much for your support. And uh, eight silver sponsors, two bronze, and over 30 blue sponsorships. We created this to make sponsorship more accessible, especially for small businesses and those that are led by DMP nurses. So what's to come? Just going over high level, our strategic vision for 2020 20 through 2023. Uh, and our mission is to serve doctors of nursing practice of color through networking, mentorship, and advocacy to increase diversity in doctoral studies, clinical practice, and leadership. So our main pillars are net networking, mentorship, and advocacy, as you can see, that are highlighted there. And our vision is to inspire, empower, and transform the landscape of nursing to increase diversity in doctoral studies. Uh, I'm sorry, doctoral nursing practice. And our top three priorities are fundraising, programming, and mem membership. So looking over at the chart, um, I, uh, our objectives are here. So objective one, to serve as mentors and guide nurses of color to pursue doctor of nursing practice studies. Um, and that's in support of our pillar of mentorship. And our plans are to create um, what we are calling Docs Institute, and that's comprised of DMP scholars, clinician and leadership, um, post DMP fellowship programs. Um, we also want to create a DMP mentorship program and continue to garner university and corporate partnerships and sponsors and collaborate to create um, pipelines slash pathway programs. Objective two, to create opportunities for engagement in academia, research, and clinical practice. Uh, this is our networking pillar. So continuing to look for funding and scholarships for our 
respective programs, really develop our education, policy, and professional development programming and events, and continuing with our membership transition and really bolstering up our networking community. And objective number three, to advocate for educational support for DMPs of color, our advocacy pillar. Generating of new research and creation of a journal of DMPs of color is underway. Uh, really developing our DEI anti-racism and nursing community, uh, creating our policy and advocacy committees as well. And then also uh, expanding to create preceptor network, leader and clinician networks. So for our um, for fiscal year 2022, our focus will be on membership transition and our Docs Institute. We are projecting that membership should launch early spring. The Docs Institute is a multi-arm um, uh, program that consists of uh, post DMP fellowships. The first fellowship arm we're going to be working on is the uh, post DMP. Uh, research arm, and that's where we're going to launch our Pathway to Publication Fellowship. Uh, more to come on the specific details regarding the Docs Institute, um, other uh, arms of focus, but our first focus will be the research, developing the DMP researcher, beginning with the Pathway to Publication Fellowship. And with that, I offer much gratitude and thanks for your support, your time and attention, your talent and your enthusiasm for DMPs of color. We hope that you have a wonderful time during our conference and that you continue to follow us, join us and support us as we continue to build the foundation, being the voice and representation of DMPs of color in the nursing profession and really making progress toward our collective path and interest toward health equity. Thank you so much for your time and attention. Have a wonderful day.